In fact, using convolution, we can go a step further and solve integral equations. For instance, let's try to solve phi of t plus integral from zero to t, t minus tau, phi of tau d tau equals eight thirds sine of three t. And it's called an integral equation because the unknown phi of t is both in the equation and under the integral. And you might say, I will never use this. Well, Lotka Volterra likes to have a word with you because a cool application of this is what's called the Lotka Volterra, Volterra equation. So same person as in Volt, ODE. And what this gives us, it gives us a better model for the bunnies versus foxes model I may have mentioned before. So better mod, so better population model, if you want. Model. Because we did talk about logistic equation and everything for bunnies versus foxes. Or sort of a predator prey situation. How can you do this? Well, first of all, notice this does have a convolution form. Okay. So this has a form the form. Well, notice we have phi of t. See, this is like f of t minus tau, and this is g of tau. So it's really phi of t plus t convolved with phi of t equals eight thirds sine of three t. And once you notice that, then the rest is just as usual because again, take the L Say take the L. So L of phi of t plus L of t convolved with phi of t. It's L of eight thirds sine of three t. And once again, we can now use a convolution theorem so L of V of T plus L of T, it's lit times L of V of T. And now this is eight thirds times the Laplace transform of sine of three T. So three over S squared plus three squared, which is nine. And the cool thing is the threes cancel out. And then the Laplace transform of t is one over s squared. So L of phi of t plus one over s squared. L of phi is eight over s squared plus nine. And then you can factor out L of phi. And you get one plus one over s squared L of phi. And that is eight over s squared plus nine. And how about let's put everything on a common denominator. So that's s squared plus one over s squared L of phi equals eight over s squared plus nine. And then flip everything. So L of phi of t is eight s squared over s squared plus one times s squared plus nine. Now, by the way, notice how cool this is. This was a completely new situation, which was very scary. And yet, 
all the techniques that we learned were able to handle this scary situation. That's how you know that the method is powerful. Very good. So we have L of phi equals to this gibberish. And again, the main idea is to write this as a Laplace transform. And for this, we can use partial fractions. So step three, partial fractions. So eight S squared over S squared plus one times S squared plus nine. That gives you, again, you want to split this up. So something over S squared plus one and something over S squared plus nine. So AS plus B, CS plus D. Again, same thing as usual. You put this on a common denominator and compare. And eventually what you find is A is zero, B is minus one, C is zero. D is nine. And then what you end up getting, so step four. So L of phi of t was this gibberish, but then with A is zero and B is uh, minus one, this gives you minus one over S squared plus one, and then zero S plus nine, nine over S squared plus nine, and you will eventually get Laplace, a thing of minus sine of t, and then three times three is nine plus, plus three sine of three t. And therefore, you have a solution. V of t is minus sine of t plus three sine of three t. And once again, the beautiful thing is, even though this was a new problem, using the power of Laplace transforms, we were able to solve this. And then the next video done in real time is about the integral differential equation where we combine both of them. And the last video also in real time is about a cool integral involving Laplace transforms. And then you're done with Laplace transforms. Congratulations.